Hello and welcome. My name's Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today we're going to talk about testing the temperature of your heat press. So I hear from tons of you that think that maybe you have issues with your heat press and wonder if it is doing the right job. So I did a little research, found out the best way to test your heat press temperature, and we're going to cover that today. I'm going to test the temperature on both my heat press as well as a 9x9 Easy Press just to demonstrate both of the options. I'm going to use an infrared thermometer. Now, this one is made for testing the temperature of things, not people. So there are two different types of infrared thermometers. So there are some that you know you can use to test the temperature of people. This one is not that. It tests the temperature of things. Now this was like 20 bucks on Amazon, not very expensive. And I will link to the one I'm using in the description below. So you can head to the description below. If you are on computer, click show more. If you're on mobile, you can either click the arrow to expand the description or swipe up on the video either way. Now, the problem with using an infrared thermometer is that the surface of, say, my heat platen on my heat press, and both of these are on, by the way, or the easy press itself, this surface is shiny. So that means that if I was just to point the thermometer at it, I would not get an accurate temperature measurement. The second thing you need to remember is these need to be on for at least five minutes before you even start these tests. They do need to come up to temperature and be able to regulate their own temperature for a long time. So minimum five minutes, five to 10 minutes is best. Both of these have been on for a while, so I'm ready to test. The next thing you need to note on your thermometer is the distance. So mine is a 12 to one. So that means if I hold it about a foot away, it measures about a one inch circle. So that's important because if I held it really close and I was trying to measure the edge temperature, it might get an area outside of the heat press and give me a false reading. So you do wanna note that range as well, depending on what thermometer you purchase. Now, I said I don't wanna point it at the heat platen itself. So let's just do that to illustrate what would happen. So if I point it at the heat platen, keeping it about a foot away, I'm getting like 365. This heat press is set at 400. So let's also do the same test on the easy press. So this is also set at 400. And if I shoot it about a foot away, I come up with 339. So then you might be thinking, well, my heat press is not doing its job, but that's not true. You're just measuring it incorrectly. So let's take a look at the steps to do a correct measurement. So how do we measure the temperature if we can't just point the gun at the heat press and actually get an accurate measurement? Well, we have a trick for that. So the first thing on a regular heat press, what I want you to do is adjust the heat press itself and make sure it comes all the way down on whatever you have on this bottom surface. Whatever you have on that bottom surface, I want you to make sure that it is not shiny. So the pad on mine is not shiny, but if it was, I would add a different pad here. And then adjust the pressure so that when you close the heat press, it closes tightly on itself. So that way it actually closes and is heating up that bottom pad. So now that I have my heat press adjusted, I've set my timer for 60 seconds. So I'm gonna close this heat press and I'm gonna let it heat this bottom surface for 60 seconds. So I want this surface to be the temperature of the heat press because you might have guessed it, we are going to measure the temperature of this surface immediately. As soon as we pull up that arm, we're gonna measure the temperature of this surface and that is the way we're gonna check our heat press temperature. So let's close this and we'll wait the full 60 seconds. So it's almost done and I'm getting ready, right? So I have my heat gun ready. As soon as the timer goes off, I wanna pull it up and test the temperature of that orange pad on the bottom. So each time that you wanna check the temperature, so if I wanna check it in different areas, you have to close it again for the 60 seconds. The pad cools off that quickly and you can see that with the thermometer. So as you're pointing it, you can watch it cool off. So you need that immediate reading just as soon as the lid opens to get an accurate temperature. As this is counting down, I need to get ready. So we're like at three seconds. So I need to have the gun ready and then I need to open and point it immediately watching the display on the gun at the same time. 
When I do that, I get like 390, 393, something like that. So that's the way you have to measure it, is by what comes up exactly at the moment that the laser beam hits this platen. So now that you've seen me do this a few times on the heat press, my heat press seems pretty good. I'm gonna try the easy press and see what happens. So I have my easy press set to 400 degrees for 60 seconds and I have it on my easy press mat and it's heating it up. Now when it beeps, I'm gonna have my heat gun ready and be able to read the readout, tilt the easy press back and take a temperature reading of the mat. So now it's beeped, I'll tilt it up and shoot while watching and it was 395, which is really great. Now I tested kind of on this side. If I wanna test over here, I need to set it back down, heat again for 60 seconds, tilt back up and measure in this area instead of over here. So now you know how to test the temperature of your heat press or your easy press easily. So both mine I feel like tested pretty well. I had them set at 400 and I know that it starts to cool as soon as I lift it up. And I was getting like 390, 393, things like that. 391, um, just as soon as the laser beam hit the surface. So that's the temperature you want. As soon as it hits, an immediate reading comes up and that's the temperature you wanna go by. So hopefully that helps you test your heat press temperature. I would recommend testing in several areas, making sure that the heat is consistent across the entire surface, especially if you're having trouble. So what happens is people purchase presses used or extremely cheap on Amazon, and they don't have as many coils as a more expensive heat press. And that means that you're not getting the same temperature all throughout your heat press. So hopefully this helps you kind of give that a test and see if there are any cold spots in your press. Might convince you need to buy another press or just avoid that spot. Now, if you are looking to buy another heat press, I have a video all about purchasing heat presses. And I also have a video about whether you need a heat press or an easy press and which is right for you. So I will link to both of those below so you can help make a buying decision if this video finds you where you need a new heat press because yours just isn't doing the job. So hopefully that helps. If it does, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything I've covered, please ask those in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.